In Peace Across America, it's a group of four, five to six writers that started their journey as a 3,500 mile journey transcontinental, starting in California, ending up in Florida. We've had to battle winds up to 35, 40 miles an hour all through Arizona, New Mexico, and Oklahoma, and the panhandle of Texas. And the heat was tremendous. We, I think the hottest day we had was 113. It's just an off-the-rack trek bike. Anybody can buy one, and someday I'll have a nicer one. The purpose of the Amputees Across America ride is to bring public awareness on folks with disabilities, in this case amputees, that you can overcome any obstacle. New amputees should just realize that their life is not over, that they're, they're going to be able to do everything they did before, it's just going to be a little, uh, might have to do it a little differently and to take time to learn how to walk correctly and not rush things. There's 19 health styles in total on this close to two month journey here. They will stop at each hospital, talk with the staff at each hospital. The empty support groups that attend these, these events get basic inspiration. The craziest thing that's happened to me on the road, other than some of the great people I've met, I would say the experience I had when I met a young boy named Jake. I was out riding with the group and I wear cleats as all of the riders do and I could not free myself from the cleats. We were coming up to a stop sign and I could not click out. I had to get out of the shoes with the help of some friends. They left me and I was standing there with my shoes figuring out what was wrong and what had happened. With that a car pulled up and a young couple got out and they asked me if I would stop and talked to their little boy, Jake, who was seven years old. That very morning, they were going by and they saw me with the leg, with my prosthetic. They were on the way to the hospital to have his leg amputated. He had been run over by a riding lawnmower when he was four, and after 16 surgeries, they knew they were not going to be able to save that leg. So that morning, they were on the way to have it removed. I spent about 10 or 15 minutes with Jake and he went on his way and all I could think about was him and when I got back into my cleats and clicked back in they actually came free immediately and have worked perfectly ever since. So I call that the little miracle that happens in your life. That was about two years ago. Jake now have become friends. We've, uh, we've competed in triathlons in California and uh, Jake and I have just become uh, good buddies.